Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I actually got a reply, a comment on a video I did. So I did this video on uh, basically ending financial worry. You can find it here. Uh, augmenting your means and diminishing your wants. And you can watch the video there. And basically in that video I talked about the idea that you could essentially reduce your wants, right? So basically diminishing your wants and augmenting or increasing your means in order to be more happy in life and to have a better life and uh, and to uh, to to resolve a lot of conflicts in your life. So if you if you need less, if you can live on less and you can make more, then you have a nice buffer there, so you're going to be comfortable. You're not going to have problems. But I got a comment on this video, and and I totally uh, and I, I'll since since it's publicly commented, I'll save uh, from from Steve. And, uh, and I totally, like, first of all, I don't want to be hating on Steve. Steve is awesome. You know, Steve uh, has been commenting a lot of videos, and he's part of the Simple Pro Programmer community. Uh, highly respect you, Steve. So, uh, but I'm, I'm reading this, and I'm going to give you my honest, because this is the thing, right? I'm honest. I'm, I'm trying to be as genuine as possible. So I'm just going to give you my honest feedback here, and, uh, and I, hopefully you'll, you'll take it in the right way. If you don't, I can't control that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you straight anyway. So anyway, Steve says... Uh, you always tell these stories from the perspective of one person as if they have control over the entire family. I, for one, don't want to piss my wife or kids off by removing their data, their nice clothes, downsizing a house we've spent loads of money on, etc. The kids get one chance to have a childhood. Why should they suffer just because I didn't plan 10 years ago? I mean, I know I should have, but I didn't, and that's our reality right now. Yeah, sure, we could all crash on a mattress on the floor and make sandals from cereal boxes, etc. But back in the real world, we want to at least experience some level of comfort, and that comes at a price. It's a trade-off. You're making people like me feel bad with this type of advice, but the reality is your advice just isn't realistic. If I want a marriage and a relationship to survive, which is ironic, given the point you make that I do agree with that money causes rifts, I see it as a test of a strong marriage and work ethic. I just need to work harder to sustain my reality. So Steve, like, first of all, totally get this. this you are not the first person to say this. And let me tell you, I'm just going to tell you straight up, that's a bullshit excuse. I have heard this so many times from people, and I, no offense to you, honestly, but I'm telling you straight up, that is just a bullshit excuse, and I'll tell you why. There's a couple of reasons why. The first reason is, if you really think that giving your, clo your kids nice clothes and data on their phone and, uh, and, a, and a big house with a pool or whatever, you know, I'm not saying they have a pool, but whatever, if you think that that is what makes an awesome childhood, and if you think that that is the kind of thing that is ultimately going to make even your wife happy, you're, you're mistaken. You're wrong. And, 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 and see, so here's the thing. You're going to have to be the man here because, and, and I'm, I'm not using this lightly, because you, your job is to know what's best, right? People are going to tell you what's best. They're going to tell you what they think is best, what they think they want, what they think they need. That's not necessarily true. You know, honestly, like in the depth of your heart, I want you to, to think about it and say, what is really important in life? What really matters to people and relationships? And I guarantee you it's not money, and it's not the things that money can buy. What it is, is it's caring, it's love, it's the time, it's the commitment, it's the, the devotion, right? It's the shared experience. And, and you know, you might say, well, John, yeah, it's easy for you to save from your position, but man, I have been, like you said, sleeping on mattresses on the floor, and, and I've made sacrifices. And, and the thing is, like, even now, right, I have lived in, purposely lived in less than ideal conditions, and I've been, I've been I, and, and the experience has not been diminished. And in fact, it's been enhanced. I mean, I spent, you know, I spent the last, the last year, I spent three and a half months traveling Europe with a backpack. Now, you might say, oh, wow, you're traveling Europe. But, you know, <laughs> the thing is, I was wearing the same clothes every day <laughs> for a week. So, I mean, and I was eating one meal a day, right? So, like, you see what I'm saying? But that didn't diminish my quality of life at all, right? That it was better, in fact, you know, than, than when I was had all of this luxury. I mean, when everything you have is in the back. Okay, here's what I'm trying to say with this. Like, I just want to... So what I'm trying to say with this is when everything that you have is in a backpack, all your possessions, right, for three and a half months, imagine that, is in one backpack, the clothes on your back essentially, and you're only eating one meal a day, you're, you're hungry most of the time, and you can still be happy 
and have joy and have the kind of one of the best experiences of your life, then you understand that that other stuff doesn't matter. And that was, I mean, that was really a big takeaway for me from that experience. And, and again, I know, you know, yeah, it's expensive to travel here, but I mean, we did home exchanges and it, that's not the point. The point is though that all this stuff, it doesn't matter so much, right? It, it's not the, the thing, it's gonna be the time that you spend with, with your, and, and I've been wrong at this in the past. I mean, I've worked like a dog in the past trying to just increase my means. I, I've always sacrificed, but I'm telling you that that's not what really, really matters. And I know yet you know that deep down in your heart. And I'm not saying that you like make ridiculous sacrifices. And you know I'm not saying that. You know, you're, you're using that as an excuse so that you don't do what you know you need to do. And so what, you screwed up in the past. Man, we've all screwed up. I have screwed up so many freaking times. I'm screwing up right now in, in ways that I don't even know yet, but I'll know in five years, <laughs> right? We're all screwed up, and so we can't use that as an, as, a, as an excuse either. The thing is, you have to lead with the sacrifice. You make the biggest sacrifice, right? Because you know it's the right thing. Because you know in your heart of hearts that if you can augment your means and you can diminish your needs, that you're gonna be more happier and your family's gonna be more happier and they're gonna have better lives. If you can live on less and you can make more, you know that that's the formula for happiness. That that's, that is, is what, what is required. And teaching your kids those lessons is not gonna hurt. You know, you make the first sacrifice, right? You, you be the one to make the bigger sacrifices. I'm not saying have your family sleep in, in a car. I, I'm just saying like make some smart choices, like reduce that cost of that. And you're not diminishing the experience. That's the other thing. Like you have to understand that, that you are not diminishing the experience. In fact, some of the best things that you could possibly do for your kids, and, and you know this, I know you know this because you're a wise guy, is you, you know that you can teach them the value of things and to earn what, the, what they have, to, 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 to really work hard to get what they want and not to have it given to them. I know you know this. So, you know, it's hard. I mean, I, I would encourage you, you know, for any of you that, that doubt this, uh, read a, a book called uh, Titan. Okay, it's, it, it's the, uh, the biography of, of Rockefeller, one of the most, uh, one of the most wise businessmen, uh, you know, whether you like him or not, uh, he's definitely smart. And he is also probably the, the biggest philanthropist in the history of the world. Uh, modern medicine would not exist without this, this guy. He has, you know, contributed so much to society. But when you listen to how he raised his kids, and he didn't give them anything. He made them earn it all. And, and they were not deprived because of that. He made them learn the responsibility before he gave them anything. So all I'm saying here is this, look. I know, Steve, that what my advice comes off a bit harsh. I know that I talk in extremes, and I do, because I feel like talking in extremes is the only way to get people to spur to action, is because when I talk in extremes, then maybe if you implement part of the way, then you're gonna get to where, where you need to be, all right? I don't expect you to make ridiculous sacrifices, but if you wanna get to where you wanna be in life, right, you're gonna have to make some sacrifices. It's good to augment your means, right? And you, and you, and you can do that, but but you're also going to have to reduce your, your needs. You're going to have to do some downsizing if you want to get to where you want to be. If you're fine where you are right now and, and you don't care, then that's, that's fine. It, but you, you, you should be able to tell me, John, I have six months of runway. I've got a bunch of money in the bank. I don't have to balance my checkbook uh, because I'm living below my means. Because if you're not, I guarantee you, if you are balancing your checkbook every week, if you're wondering where the money's coming from, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, and you don't have a runway, you don't have at least three months worth of living expenses in case you lose your job or, or something comes up, if you don't have that, you're living in unnecessary stress. And it is stressing your whole family, it's stressing your relationship, it's stressing everything. Believe me, I know it. I, I am 100% sure of this. So if you can say that, if you're like, John, you know, screw off, I have three months of, of paychecks in the bank, I don't balance my checkbook, I wanna live, I wanna have my pool and my, my, my nice car and whatever, and I'll just, you know, I'll work for the next 40 years and, and pay for this lifestyle, fine. Your decision, that's cool, that's totally fine. But if you wanna to get to the level that I think you wanna to get to, from what I understand about you, then you're gonna to have to make sacrifices. And you're going to have to realize that you're the one who leads with the sacrifice. You're the one who makes the decision and does this for, because you're not doing, see there's a difference between doing what, okay, it takes more courage and more balls to do what you know needs to be done 
than it does to do what people want you to do, to please them, right? You can be a pleaser, right? You can please your wife and you can please your kids and not do what's best for them. And they'll, they'll be sort of happy, right? You'll have, they'll be complacent. Or you can do what needs to be done based on where you know that you wanna go, where you wanna take this, your family, where you wanna take your future, and you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices and cuts. But like I said, you lead those sacrifices. You sacrifice your stuff first. You set the example. You show that you don't need material stuff to be happy. Show that. And, and, and show that you, you've got these goals, that freedom is a goal, that you wanna be able to be financially smart and have a good future and, and teach your kids these principles. It's gonna work out better, I'm telling you. You know, you can doubt me, you can say that I'm full of crap. I totally understand, I totally get it, Steve. I got nothing but love for you, bro. But honestly, like, you gotta face the facts. Like, I'm not gonna let you get away with the bullshit excuse saying that this is, is, is not possible. I, I have, I know it's possible. I know that it's, that I've seen people do it, I've done it myself. And, uh, and, and you, you got to pay the price one time. You can't just keep on putting it off and saying someday, someday, someday. You know, the fastest way to get to where you're, where you're going to go is, is to do those two things. And you got to do them both. So I know you've got it in you. And, uh, and you, you know, <laughs> I, I know your heart is in the right place. That's the thing. Is the, I know you don't want to deprive your family. Uh, but I know that in your heart of hearts, honestly, that you know that the things that are important is not having a data plan on your cell phone. Are your kids even having cell phones? It, it's knowing that you care. It's knowing it's the time with you. It's, it's the, the and, and, and that is going to improve when you don't have the stress of, of, of finances, when you got a buffer, you got to have that buffer in there. And this is how you get the buffer. And, and then, and you know, and this sets you up for the future. In, in five, 10 years, you can get that, that other stuff. But if you're always living, you know, paycheck to paycheck or right at your means, you never get ahead. You got to live below your means if you want to get ahead in life. That's the only way to get ahead in life. There has to be everything. There's a season, right? You sow and you reap. And, and I know you know this. I'm just telling you what you already know. But I, maybe I'm giving, I'm hoping I'm giving you the courage to do what, what needs to be done. Because when I read your comment, honestly, I know that you know what's right and what needs to be done. I know it because I see it. I see it, uh, but you're conflicted. I understand that. So anyway, hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you take this in the right way. And, uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. All right. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you next time. Take care.